when he asked you if you said no, then he'd be like, fine, I'll tell everyone to throw him away. And then you'll have nothing. But if you go talk to him again, he'll be like, oh, I told them all to throw it away. Boy, Man, then I'll, I'll tell all my friends, tell them. their friends' friends. Never use yellow yeah. names. How about that? <laughs> No more yellow names. Okay, I will let them know not to use yellow names. How are you doing without yellow names? It's great. Glad to hear it. Though, I do not know why you dislike yellow. You had better hope you do not encounter a banana themed monster. <laughs> yeah, if you say bring them back. Then that's when he'll pink and pink. Cause he's like, oh, I throw him one, I throw him one. Bring them back, huh? It's rather inconvenient that you changed your mind like this. Since I told everyone not to use yellow names, everyone throw threw theirs out. Well, last year it was fashionable to have pink names. I think everyone saw those in their closet somewhere. We'll ask everyone to look, but this is the last time. Alright, cool. <laughs> Yay, pink names! Let's go! <laughs> There's a lot of cute easter eggs lying around. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna save and then quickly run to the restroom. combination for the bladder. <laughs> what a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Dove top is very clean. Torio must use fire magic instead. By the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I want to take it. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside, but you won't. History book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> Frickin' Toriel, come on. Do the genocide run, you're gonna have a bad time. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundary of plants. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seedling seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Oh, we call him Toriel Fat now. Oh, it's a water sausage. Yep, I knew that happened.
Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thank you, Ariel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. No. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Turn home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. Jesus Christ, my throat. I need a pop a cough drop for this. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Okay. Half drops in. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. You leave the ruins. They, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I already went to bed. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. You know something that I do not? Yeah, I accidentally killed her one time. No, that is impossible. Wait, you killed Toriel? Yeah, in my first attempt at playing this. <laughs> Don't you fucking laugh! Fuck off, Arnie! <laughs> Jesus Christ. running into the hands. The other stuff I'm sucking at, but I'm purposely running into the hands. I know you want to go home, but... 
please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Pathetic, <laughs> is it not? You cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear for you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Goodbye, my child. Not that it matters. But I'm pretty sure if you go back again, you see Flowey again. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, whatever. Don't we see Flowey again up here? Yeah, and that, uh... Hmm. You see her here, and then there's another place that you walk back, you can see her again. Yeah. Like, right... You pass on, right? Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. You were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Till you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is in regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> I think I've already gotten spoiled to uh, who Flowey is, sadly. But. Oh, you have? I'll hold off. I see fan art posted on Google Plus all the time uh, of this game, sucks. and it's annoying. That's why I wanted to try and play it early to get it over with. Grill is the way Twitch refers to girls. Because it's Twitch. Go be that guy. I pick up the stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Aw, you bastard. Don't look back. Okay, look back. Flowey, you there? Oh, uh, Flowey? Yeah, she should be like back near the stick or whatever. Stick is broken. Nope, she ain't here. Uh, maybe you have to look back after. What's you talk brown and sticky? Bullshit! Oh. Damn it! Damn it, Division! Good one. Yeah, no Best character approaching. Human. <laughs> the old book cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. 
Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. I wrote made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I love this dumb joke. <laughs> sup, bro? You know what's sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing?! Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning! Maybe this lamp will help you. Tons! You are not helping you, lazy bones! All you do is sit in boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. Skeleton. Ha! Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! I... Why is someone as great as me? I have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, I'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What are these rocks doing? Why is there nothing interesting coming out of the rocks? Yo, my Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It's the conveniently shaped lamp. Actually, hey. Hate to bother ya. But can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. Think he might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Box? Yes. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. Same box won't appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Snow Drake flutters for it. Joke. You make a bad ice pun. You've heard that one. Smiling at his own bad joke. Make a bad eyes pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Frederick is assessing the crowd. Make a bad eyes pun. Alright. Went the wrong way. Ow. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Better not snowflake out. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! I guess please with this cool joke. There. Right. Cool. 12 more gold. 
It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Drilled in? Yes. Well, that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. Decide not to call. You send the line back out. Uh, I want to take it! Why can't I take it? So, as I was saying about Undyne... Oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar! Oh, uh, I think it looks familiar. Because it's a rock? Oh! Hey, it's not right in front of the rock. Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Oh my god! Sons, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna... I'll be so popular! 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 Ahem. Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then? Then! I'm not sure what's next. In any case! Continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> oh, that one won't. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I can't talk to the rock. That is depressing. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station! Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman! No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman! Ice cap struts into view. Compliment. Poor ice cap that has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Cap also wants a hat for his nose. Trying to steal the ice cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! And yes, too bad. Ow. You managed to tear your eyes away from the ice cap's hat. Looks annoying. What? What are you doing? Have to secretly check you if you're looking at his hat. Pity you're not looking at Ice Cap's hat. Seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. He tried to steal the Ice Cap's hat. He succeeded. It melts in your hands. I, I, Ice Cap is no more. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. Yeah, I like my hair too. Ice Cap doesn't mind its identity. You won. You earned 0 XP and 35 gold. Very nice. There is a camera behind the sentry station. Absolutely no moving. Something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Argo blocks away. Argo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Argo can't seem to find anything. Pet doggo. What? I've been pet! Pet, 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 pet. Doggo has been pet. 30 gold. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats.
Hello? Is anybody there? No? Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. There's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. North ice, south ice, west ice, each east Snowden town, and ice. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. You would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you, good luck. Got the snowman piece. Alright, excellent. Uh, make sure to keep it. Yeah. I'm not sure if that affects your pacifism or not. Really though, that human! Do you know- Do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know! Oh, I didn't know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know! You know? Oh, speak of the devil! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap! Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay! Hold this, please! Okay, try now! Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy! It is designed by my brother, Sans! You will surely be confounded! I know I am! Yeah. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He's going in his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yes, he is. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. I'm just 15G. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Got the ice cream. I'll buy a couple of these. Healing items. Really hard to do this thing. God damn it. Fuck. Alright, we're just gonna have to retry. God damn it. Fuck everything! What's now? There'll be a new one? Yeah, it's alright, so it comes down like this. Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Ah, fuck, go down! Go down, 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 down! Nope, oh, come on, come on. Fucking golf! Yay! Purple, even when you felt trapped. Took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow snow decahedron. 